questions? All right. I'm asking you guys about that 2018 game and just the physical gap that there was at that time. What, what do you remember about that, your action in that game, and maybe how hard you guys have been, been physically? Yeah, I think that was the most physically defeated I've ever felt after a football game in my entire career here. Um, you know, they were, they were really big up front. Um, you know, they ran a lot of gap scheme. They came downhill. Um, and, yeah, we were just uh, physically, we weren't, I wasn't personally um, ready to be in, in that position yet. How do, you, how do you respond to that kind of a realization at that time, knowing that, that you had a ways to go? Yeah, um, it's definitely, uh, you know, a piece of humble pie. It's, uh, it's a wake-up call. Um, you know, that, that was my first offseason making the transition from outside linebacker to D-line and just, um, you know, I'd put on a lot of weight, but, um, you know, clearly not enough, wasn't big enough, strong enough. Um, so it was a wake-up call for me the, the next offseason because um, really that's when you're going to make that jump again and, um, you know, just uh, take it on the chin. It's a learning experience and just to be able to, you know, be hungry that next offseason. Can you describe how far you've come and how far this team has come physically since that day three years ago? Yeah, um, you know we had we had big guys um, back then. Uh, I think scheme wise, though, just jumping around back and forth, we a lot of it was understanding of the scheme. And you know, if I if I had a better understand, understanding, if I had today's understanding of the scheme and technique, and I was at that level, um, you know, the size would have been less of an issue. I think. Um, so really, it's a combination. You know, you can't just be be huge, and you still got to be have great technique. Um, doesn't matter how big you are. And you, you guys have obviously dealt with the setbacks really well to keep going the way you did and play like you did Saturday. Is there a challenge then, even when dealing with when you're kind of up or positive or everyone's patting you on the back? Is that a different sort of challenge? Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know what the longest uh, strung together win streak we've had here in my tenure is, but it's not very many. Um, and so that's that's clearly something we're focused on. Um, a year ago, that was something that was a problem for us. Um, and so, um, you know, just having the same focus, the same intensity, same everything, same prep going into the next game after a win, super important. Today, I guess, were you encouraged by today, or what did you see today out there? Yeah, yeah. practice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, it's a pretty big mental day Monday. Um, obviously, the guys still banged up and whatnot from the game. Um, just getting the you know cleaning stuff up from last game, and then. Uh, you know, getting getting the install and stuff in for the for the next week. Um, but yeah, it, it was a it was a really solid Monday for us. You see these young O linemen developing as much as anybody. Uh, could, could you speak to Nuri and uh, you know, Teddy? Uh, sort of what how you saw have seen them grow, and were you surprised that they had their success they did, or not not at all? Yeah, um, Nuri for sure. Uh, you know, he's. He's been, you know, fighting. I mean, he's been, I guess, more consistent and level than Teddy, just because Teddy was young and he's still young and he's still learning. Um, and Nuri's got a couple years of ex just playing experience, right? He started at Colorado State for him, so uh, I think that goes a long ways. Um, and just having that experience, uh, he's this quality of a, a walk-on as you're going to find uh, for alignment. So um, that's a that's big for us. And then yeah, Teddy has obviously just been growing week by week. Um, to the point now where they're comfortable enough with him and he's comfortable enough with the scheme to, to get out there and play. Ben, Michigan's going to come in here wanting to run the football just as a lineman. What, what's the mindset going in when you know a, a pretty good Big Ten team is going to run it right you guys? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that's about how it is every Big Ten game. Um, it's what you signed up for. It's why you came here. So, um, you know, we're ready for that. Um, you know, I think... Uh, that'll be uh, definitely on the D-line. It's going to be on, on both sides up front. Uh, that's how it is in Big Ten football. So um, not, not much different than any other week. Have you gotten to look at their O-line yet on, on film? Yeah, a little bit. Um, really big up front. Um, definitely definitely moving guys. So um, we're going to have to be really sound in our technique to, to be playing with them. Other questions for Ben? Playing at home at night, I mean, how special was that last week? And, and what are you expecting now this week for even a bigger game? Yeah, it's uh, it's good. You know, we haven't had many of those in my tenure here, and um, you know the the lead up to the game isn't necessarily fun waiting all day, but uh, it's definitely worth it once you get to get to the game and the environment. It's it's obviously different. Um, I mean, anyone can can feel that and experience that. Um, it, it's different than a morning game. It's different than a, an afternoon game. So, um, just looking forward to it. Looking forward to a, a big time matchup. You know, that's why we come here to to play a, a ranked opponent like this. Been building off of 
that. How much fun was Saturday? It just felt a little bit different. I'm sure you'd probably agree with that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, just having success both sides of the ball early. Um, that was that was a key, obviously, to kind of get off to a hot start and um, you know seeing seeing the offense succeed, um, seeing your teammates succeed. That's all this work we put in together, everything we go through. Um, you know, that's why we do it is to, is to have that success, and there's a, there's no better feeling than that. Is this as good as the second level guys, the backers outside and inside have been playing since you've been here or out there? Outside inside backers, you said. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, trying to think who we've, we've had at those positions. I think outside for sure. You know, that's been a lot of the same guys, right? They've been those guys have been playing for a while here now. Caleb and and Garrett. Um, so that was that was something that just needed to be worked on. Um, you know, they were young. You know, and that that's tough. And they were kind of thrown into a position early, and they're playing at an elite level right now. Um, and so that's awesome to see. Um, I mean, I think we've had some solid outs or inside backers. Um, you know, over the past couple of years too. So I'm not going to say it's the the best we we've ever had, but those guys have also were a part of that too. You know, Rammer's been playing for a couple of years. Um, Nick has been playing for a couple of years now. So um, they're doing a really solid job. Um, obviously, uh, those two guys leading leading the Big Ten in tackles, or at least close to it. So um, they're making our jobs easy up front. Thank you. Thank you.